Biotech startups are awash in cash at the moment, with larger and larger financing rounds being announced every day. But does that mean that startups are actually as flush as they sound? When a venture capitalist invests in a biotech startup, they don't just drop off one of those giant novelty checks at a company that that would be fun. Sometimes, their investment in a company will come in bits and pieces, called tranches. Tranche is a French word meaning slice, and that's pretty much what it means in the language of venture capital as well. If a company raises a Series A that's $100 million, the company might only get a tranche of $20 million at a time until they reach another milestone, like starting a clinical trial. For venture capitalists, tranche makes a lot of sense. They don't need to move all of the money they've promised into a company right away, so if things go wrong, there's no harm, no foul. And if everything goes right, the startup already has money that's earmarked for its future. But if you're looking for a reliable indicator that a deal has been tranched, you're out of luck. Usually these kinds of things are written into the documents governing investments called term sheets. However, generally speaking, only a company's executive team or the VC firm itself will have access to these term sheets. The bottom line is that as with so many other things in the world of biotech finance, a headline number may not always be what it seems. To be sure, startups announcing $100 million Series A or whatever are telling you the truth. They do have $100 million, just not all in their bank account right now. 